And now the dragon fight. A potential run killer here because it takes so long to fight this thing. And if you die, it, you have to redo the whole thing. I don't remember if I beat him on my first try here or not. I guess we'll see. And also, this is the last segment of the run. Strangely, I have six AVIs and five WMVs of this save. And WMVs are the ones that have already been through Windows Movie Maker, just to compress them and stuff. I guess maybe I cut out or sped up the credits. I'm not sure what happened there. Because, uh... Segment six was only like a minute long. Segment five was over ten. That doesn't add up to the eight that this is. So I guess I cut out the credits. I don't know. Okay, doing good so far. I hate this boss so much. Oh, and the first time I ever fought this boss, it was glitchy as hell. I didn't use the J key to skip to the end. I knew about I knew that you couldn't do that, but I didn't. But when I was fighting this guy, it was really weird. I never had to shoot him. All I had to do was survive, and it then he'd already he'd go to the other side of the screen. And there was like a big black square on the left covering him up at all times. It was really bizarre. So I guess that this game has gone through some good bug testing because that's gone now. I mean there's still some a few issues with it, mostly the freezing that probably can't be helped. Alright, beat him on my first try, that's awesome. But I felt pretty good about that. Now, the castle slash lair of the guy. I don't know if it has a name. I mean, there's all those signs everywhere. Entrance of the guy, labyrinth of the guy, incinerator of the guy, space balls, the flamethrower, all that good stuff. I don't know what this is. Oh, man. I died there. What the hell happened? But yeah, I don't know if this place has an official name, if it's the castle or the lair, or... And it froze. Ah, oh, man. What is the, like, the sixth, or tenth, or forty-second time it's frozen now? Come on. Can't you just let me finish the damn game? And I shouldn't be having trouble in this room. This room is easy. At least, comparatively speaking. Watch, I'm probably gonna get killed by that hand. No, I remember the hands there. Okay, now this part. Let's see what I do here. I, I might attempt the glitch here. Yeah, it looks like I'm trying it. If you can cling onto that wall before the fire appears, you can, like, stop it from ever showing up. I guess I'm trying to do that here, and I'm failing miserably, so I guess I just keep going. Uh, don't hit my dad. Oh, okay. Man, this is not a very good run. Okay, Labyrinth of the Guy. Another place that caused me many problems, because I knew that there was a map that someone had made of this place, but I refused to use it. I wanted to get through it on my own. And so I exhausted every last opportunity, every, every every last, like, option, path, I don't know what I was trying to say there. I did everything that I could and still couldn't find the ending, and then I eventually found it after finding every single other exit. All those exits lead to magic hoopas that kill you immediately. Here's an interesting thing about the guys. Here we see Bowser, who's still alive, and because you fight him earlier, I mean Bowser, whoa, wow, I pulled that off, I didn't think I could. But, uh, yeah, Bowser's still alive, and yet he's still, uh, he 
used to be the guy. Some people think that you have to kill the old guy to become the new one. But some of them retire. Then... Some of them, I wonder how they ever could be the guy. Like, Sinistar. I don't know who Sinistar is. But it doesn't even look like anything I've ever seen before. I don't... I don't know. I don't... I mean, what is the guy, anyway? Someone asked this in a comment once, and I said that I think it's sort of like a king. But I really don't know what a guy is. Here's a random Vic Viper segment. Gotta love this. There was a trope of that on TVTropes.com, which is incidentally how I found this game in the first place, in the Nintendo Hard article. There was an article about... Oh man. Yeah, I missed the save there, I gotta do this again. I remember that. But anyway, there was an article there about drastically changing the gameplay late in the game, or even for like the final boss fight, which is pretty stupid if you ask me. I mean, this isn't stupid, because it's pretty much the same thing, except for you have free control over the ship. But Games that do that are stupid. I can't think of any at the moment. And I'll probably eat my words later because there'll be some game that I really love that does that. Like Plock. The final boss in Plock sucks because you're on a like pogo stick the whole time. It is really. I mean, that, and that game is hard anyway. The game's really hard. I don't think I could ever beat it without save states. I've tried a few speedruns of it, actually. And I usually stop when I get to the flea pit, because at that point, it's just awful. I love Plock. I'd do an LP of that, but a bunch of people already have. And same goes for Ristar. I don't know why I reset there. I'm guessing that I, like, clicked outside the screen and so I couldn't jump. I think that's what happened there. I didn't really see, though. I'm probably gonna die. Yeah. Whoa, I'm sucking majorly here. But there's less than a minute remaining, so... I guess I get up and I beat... The I can't beat the guy in less than a minute. What the hell happened here? Maybe I never... Uh... Ah, uh, can't think. Maybe I just never like was the processed or ran it through Windows Movie Maker for the last segment. I guess I saved the guy for the end the, to be his own segment because this is ending in 15 seconds. All right, I guess I've got a little bit of work to do before I. Had commentary to that one then. Because it is over right now.